Sometimes ageism, bias against older people, can be pretty obvious. But often, these prejudices are hidden, even from ourselves. Research has found that for most people, ageism is a cognitive hole, a topic where a lack of information challenges our ability to engage productively. Ageism can show up in seemingly harmless, even positive-sounding phrases. This is an expression of implicit bias. It works under the surface, automatically and unintentionally. Still, it can affect how all of us think, speak, and act. Research from the National Center to Reframe Aging and its research partner, the Frameworks Institute, has shown that this kind of unthinking prejudice can drive bad policies and hide many of the important and positive parts of the story of aging. So how do we address this hidden bias? First, we need to call it out sensitively when it comes up in conversation or even in the media. An open-ended response sets the stage for a mutually valuable exchange. Our communications should resemble the diversity of aging. We should tell stories that describe older people taking on a variety of activities with family and friends while also utilizing assistive devices and supportive services. Most importantly, we should carefully frame our public materials and presentations. Lead with a value statement about justice and explain how ageism is holding us back. Don't forget to define ageism, as most people aren't familiar with the term. Recognize that most ageism is implicit, under the surface, so explain how it operates. And, finally, offer solutions. Making implicit bias visible can change attitudes about aging, influence policies and programs, and help all of us live more active and meaningful lives as we get older. Find resources and get started today at reframingaging.org.